Hey guys, how is it going and welcome back to another video today on the channel. In today's video, we're just going to be going over the teams I'm going to be doing uh, FIFA 19 career modes with. So what I'm going to be doing basically, um, about the first three or four months maybe, uh, we'll do two career mode teams. One is going to be Leeds because they are my favourite club. Another team is probably going to be a Road to Glory, so someone in League 1 or League 2. So what I'll be doing, um, for me FIFA will be coming out on the 20th because of EA Access. Uh, the demo is coming out on the 11th. On screen now there will be just clips of me playing FIFA, um, FIFA 18 obviously. Most of it will be Foot Champions because that's all I really played on FIFA 18. I played a little bit of Draft and a little bit of World Cup mode but they ruined it with the icons. So I will try and get the Leeds United career mode out as soon as possible. It will be either the 21st or the 22nd out of four. Uh, it depends on my shifts and stuff at work as well. So what I thought about doing was making this video into a career mode vote for the Road to Glory team. And I will start that once I, when I get around halfway through the season of the Leeds United career mode. And then I'll just upload videos alternately between uh, the Road to Glory career mode and the Leeds United career mode. So anyway, the vote is going to be in the top right hand corner. I'm also going to be doing a vote on Twitter as well with the same teams. There will be a link in the description down below to go onto my Twitter. So go and click that and vote on that as well as this vote in the top right hand corner. I still haven't decided which teams to have in the vote, but you'll obviously know because it'll be on screen and probably in the thumbnail and stuff like that. But say team A, say if that gets like 80% of the votes and then on Twitter team B gets 80% of the votes. I will then make that into another video and I will just have the vote on the vote in the top right corner basically. So team A and team B will both be in the vote together so it'll be just them two. This might sound a little bit confusing but I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. Um, the reason why I'm doing two votes as well because like the vote on the YouTube video might not get many votes or the vote on Twitter might not get many votes so I thought I'd be fair enough if I did them both on social media and on YouTube. So I'll just have a quick look and uh, decide the four teams that are going to be in the vote. So I thought I'd make it fair, have two teams from League 1 and two teams from League 2. Right, so I've just been looking at some of the kits in League One, and so far Bradford's has standed out for me. Uh, they've got a decent kit this year, so they're going to be one of the teams. And then the other team, I don't know who to choose between Doncaster and Plymouth. They've both got really nice kits. The one thing I don't like about Plymouth kits is that the away kit is a bit green as well as the home kit. But I really like Doncaster's away kit. Not too keen on the home kit, but I could get over it. Right, so it has taken me a while to decide between Doncaster and Plymouth, but I have gone and chose Doncaster. I've chosen them because they've had a decent uh, transfer window in the summer. Also, at the minute, when I've been looking at the League One table, um, like the in international break now, basically, uh, Doncaster are sitting in 7th and Plymouth are sitting in 24th. So I thought I'd go with Doncaster because they might have a little bit of a better squad. Um, I know they've got Malik Wilkes on loan, who's meant to be doing quite well for them this season. Right, and now the two teams in League 2, again I will go and have a look, um, see like which kits I like. Um, obviously you, are, you will already know. Right, so I've just had a look at the kits and there's three teams that have decent kits. Uh, they are Colchester, Forest Green and Tranmere Rovers. Obviously Tranmere have just come up from the conference and then Forest Green just came up uh, last season or two seasons ago, whatever. Colchester have a really nice away kit. It's basically just like a camouflage kit. I'll right, so I decided the two teams, uh, Colchester and Tranmere, are going to be the two teams. Basically, I didn't want to put Forest Green in because I, play, I did one offline last season off camera and uh, it would just feel a bit repetitive this season I suppose. Don't really know much about Tranmere Rovers this season, um, I'm guessing they won't have too much money, I wouldn't have thought any more than a million. And then Colchester, uh, I've actually been to their stadium, that was my first ever away game I think. Might have been my second, we could have gone to Yeovil before that. Their stadium's like, I'm pretty sure it's quite new, it's not that old, might be about 20 years old maybe 
So yeah, just looking here, the stadium's 2007, so what's that, 11 years, yeah. It's not actually a bad stadium either, it's just like a standard League One stadium, where it's quite nice as well. Uh, doesn't look like it's got any corners either. So anyway, they're going to be the four teams that are going to be in the vote, two from League Two and two from League One. Um, so don't forget to vote in the top right hand corner. Don't forget to go in the description to click that link that uh, will send you to Twitter and also vote on the poll. Uh, it will also be my pinned tweet as well so you don't have to go searching for it. So anyway, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit thumbs up. Also don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss any career mode content on FIFA 19 this year. And I will see you in the next one.